Hello, I'm Rick A. Brown and I'm your judge for the My Hero Photo Contest. And I'd like to go over a little bit of how I made the choices and give a little feedback on the images that I chose as winners. The method I used to go and choose the winners was I tried to concentrate on the emotion the image evoked as the primary factor. That tends to be what the general public looks at. If you've ever photographed for your friends or anything, you can mess up a photo and as long as it captures the emotion of the moment, they're happy with it. It's us photographers who obsess over technical details. So I tried to look at the emotion first and then also consider the technical details but as a secondary element. So I looked through the images several times, uh, took note of which ones really captured me and made me think twice and get moved emotionally by what I saw, and then gave it another glance to make sure about the technical details, exposure, clarity, and composition, and then I came up with my choices. So the image that I chose as the grand prize winner here, uh, the one that just grabbed my attention and really moved me as soon as I saw it, was coming home. This image is very powerful. It's aided in its power by the simplicity of the image. There's nothing in the image that doesn't add to the emotion of the image. You have the soldier, his daughter, the American flag, and just a blue sky other than that. This makes sure that there's nothing in the image that doesn't add to the power and emotion of the image. So I found that very moving, and, and that's why I chose it as the, as the number one winner. For one of the runners-up, I chose courtesy Red, White, and Blue. And this image was chosen largely because it has a lot of the same elements. Again, it is very simple. There's nothing in the image other than the woman receiving the flag and the honor guard soldier. And this makes sure that there's nothing that detracts from the message and what makes a person feel the emotion of what is going on in the scene. I'm not really a fan of selective color, but the power of the image made that a uh, minor drawback, that I, so I still chose the image as one of my runners-up, even though I'm not really a fan of selective color. Finally, my last, my other runner-up was the Lone Firefighter, where is that? That would be right here. This image I chose because it is also very evocative. You got the Lone Firefighter out there by himself, the smoke creating atmosphere with the backlighting of the sun coming through the smoke. This all creates a very evocative image of what's going on in the fire. And I must admit that personal experience probably influenced this as well because I've been on the fire line photographing uh, firefighters at a prescribed burn and it's a very emotional experience. So I'm sure that impacted my choice of the, of the image. So for tips for going forward, I would recommend to everyone that you try to look for the emotion in the scene. Make sure that you compose in a way that you do your very best to eliminate distracting elements. Just have the elements in the image that add to the emotion that you're going after. So get out there and have some fun with that. And again, I'm Rick A. Brown and I'd like to Thank Viewbug for having me as the judge for this uh, contest. It's been a fun and a rewarding experience. Thank you.